Hello and welcome to one of my videos. I am Mr. Morton Science and today we are looking at GCSE Chemistry Plus Papers. Uh, the paper we're looking at today is AQA uh, C1 Higher Tier from June 2013. And we're going to be looking at question one. If you want to work alongside this video, then you just need to download the past paper from the link I'll put in the description. And you can choose to either watch the video first and have a go at the question, or have a go at the question first and then watch the video. Okay, so this is uh, the paper. We're going to go straight to question one. Aluminium has many uses. An aluminium atom has 13 electrons. Draw the electronic structure of the aluminium atom. Okay, so this is our atom here. Now the important word here is the fact that it says it's an atom, not an ion, and it tells you how many electrons we need to put in. Now when we're doing electron configuration, we need to remember that the first shell has got two electrons, the second shell can have up to eight electrons, and the third shell can also have up to eight electrons. So we've got 13 to put in here, and we're going to start from the inside, so we need to put two in the first, we've still got some left over, so we can put up to eight in the second one, that comes to ten, so we've then got three left over. The way we draw this on the uh, diagram is that we put two crosses on the first shell, and we normally put electrons in pairs, so then we've got two on the th second shell, another two, another two, Another two, that gives us ten. We've got our three remainder, and then we can put these uh, individually. Now, in an exam like this, you've always got enough time to check. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's exactly how many we're meant to put on, so that will give us a mark. Name the two subatomic particles in the nucleus of an aluminium atom. This is looking at the nucleus of the atom here. If we had electrons on the shells, it kind of gives it away that the other two that we need to put in uh, are in the nucleus. And these are going to be protons and the other subatomic particle that you can find in the nucleus are the neutrons. Fundamental question, you need to know that in the atom you've got your protons and your neutrons and around the atom in the, in the shells are the electrons. Part 3. Why is there no overall charge on an aluminium atom? Now the thing that makes an aluminium atom aluminium is the fact that it has 13 protons. And you can check that using the data sheet it gives you. periodic table you find aluminium has got atomic number of 13 that means 13 protons. The protons are your positively charged particles. Okay so we know it must have 13 electrons and 13 protons that is what makes it um, 13 electrons that's what makes it neutral. So we've got the same number electrons as protons. Okay, so that'll get that mark. Okay, second part of the question. Rail tracks are made from steel. Molten iron is used to weld rail tracks. Important now is that it's iron. The reaction of aluminium with iron oxide is used to produce molten iron. So we're reacting aluminium with iron oxide, that's a compound, to produce molten iron, which is back to the element. This is the equation here. Okay, and we need to balance this. But the easy way to balance this one is because there's no gaps in front of here, we can't add any numbers here. So the small 2 after the Fe means that there are two Fe iron atoms in this compound. Everything we have on the second half of the equation must be on the, the first half. So these two here must go here, so we must have two iron atoms on the other side. So when we're trying to work out how many aluminium atoms we had over here, we can look over on the uh, products, 
there are two aluminium atoms here, so there must be two aluminium atoms here, and that will get you this mark. Why does aluminium react with iron oxide? Now for this part of the question, they're expecting you to use the data sheet again. And on the first part of the data sheet, you've got a reactivity series. And if we're looking for iron and aluminium, we can see that on this reactivity series, iron is less reactive than aluminium, or that aluminium is more reactive than iron. What this means is that when they're reacting, the aluminium will replace the iron in the oxide. So why does aluminium react with iron? Aluminium is more reactive. Out to five. Okay, check out um, some of our other videos. We're going to have a look at question two next, and I'll put the link in the section below.